Hey guys, it's Dakota. And this week we are talking about how you knew you were trans and what you did to take the next step. Um, I came out when I was 15, but I knew ever since I was little. Um, if you look back at my childhood, you could kind of see little signs here and there, but uh, you didn't, you couldn't really. I I was too young to really know what that meant. I just thought I was a tomboy or whatever. Um, you know, when when my mom would take me out to like McDonald's or something and they're like, oh, is it a boy toy or a girl toy? I'd hide in the back and I'd be like, say it's for a boy, you know? And then um, about fifth grade, I cut my hair short and it was that one cut where it's like short, but still like what a girl would wear, you know? And, but that was like, oh, I got my hair cut short finally, uh -huh, but I need a haircut again. Uh, but when I came out, I was already in therapy for uh, behavioral stuff because I was a troubled child. I'm just going to say that. I was troubled. Um, so I told my therapist, and she was like, okay, well, what I can do for you is I can send you to a therapist that can help you better with your process and I said okay and that sounds great so what I did is I went to Nationwide Children's Hospital and I did the Thrive program there uh, that's basically for like trans people I guess I didn't really ask about it but um, so I saw the therapist and she was like okay now so you're trans what do you want to do do you want to go forward with medical stuff do you want to go forward with social stuff and I was like social stuff because you know that was my first main thing was let's let's just get Dakota out there in the sense at that time I was going just by Cameron but let's get him out and let's show him to the world because he he doesn't exist so we worked on how I could present more masculine and how I could and work on, you know, what I could do to let people know who I am and, I guess, what I am, in a sense, not saying that we're like an object, but, you know, um, so what I, I, at that time I was already, I was like that. I was that butch lesbian, you know, who you, you always mistake as a guy or something, or, you know. So I, I was okay pretty much on the clothes aspect, I guess, and the appearance. It was just my voice that gave it a dead giveaway. Um, so what I did was I started working at home with doing, like, like I guess speech therapy, but it wasn't really speech therapy, it was just me messing around and repeating what I was doing, I guess you could say. Um, but I had my, so my therapist was like, okay, well, you know, social-wise, you know, there's only so much we could do to get you to pass. Now, medically, that's where you would probably see more outcomes of passing and everything so I said okay so we talked to my parents about it they're like you know we want you to wait till you're 18 so I said great I have to wait three years for this and you know like that's that's what I want to do right um but I guess it sort of gave me a goal uh not really like a goal is like oh, I can I completed my transition I'm done now but like a goal to wear when I was like depressed or whatever about not passing or depressed about not getting treated the right way I had a goal to look forward to which was starting tea and so I worked my way all the way up till I was 18 I started tea 
I turned 18 last year in 2018. Um, and then as soon as I uh, turned 18, I was like, hey, get me in. Let's start this process. Let's do it. And the following October, I started T. Uh, it wasn't really hard, like, process-wise of waiting. I didn't have to wait because I was on a waiting list or something. I just had to wait because that's what my parents wanted me to do. And as under 18, I basically had no say in what I wanted medically because when you're under 18, all those medical rights go to your parents. So you can have a say, but you can't really do anything with the outcome if it's not what you want. So I waited three years, I got what I wanted. Now my new goal is top surgery. And I'm only $3,000 away from that and I can't be happier. To, I can't wait any longer to get top surgery, but that's really all the process that there was. There wasn't really any like, uh, you have to be on a waiting list for this long so you can go see a therapist or you have to be on a waiting list for tea. It was just me having to wait till I was 18 and starting the process on my own. And personally, I liked it better because I've always been that type of person too. If I want something, I'll work for it by myself. I don't want handouts, I don't want anything. So, and like I'd see all these guys that are like under 18 and they're like, oh, just started testosterone or just had top surgery and I'm like, Great, I'm glad that you got that, and that voice cracked. Like, I'm glad that you got that, and I'm I'm hoping to be there someday. But I want things. I like things done in a particular way, so I like to do things on my own and get it because if I do it on my own, then I get what I want. So I'm not really a I'm not a brat, but like I'm a hardworking kind of a person. Like. I wanted a certain type of car, so I'm working towards getting that certain type of car. And of course, you know, I had issues with getting that certain type of car, but it's fine. Like, it, it's something that I put that upon myself, but I, I'm not like, uh, I can't, I hate this, or blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm not complaining about it. I want top surgery. I want to go to a certain type of person. I want certain results. Like. So I'm willing to take as much time as I need to get to that goal to get what I want. You know, like, it's not like, okay, well, I, insurance will cover this person, but their results may be different from somebody else. Or you might like somebody else's results more than from this doctor. But you're like, oh, I can't get that because, you know, insurance covers them and not the person that I actually want to go to. Like, I don't want to just get top surgery because it's covered or something like that. I'd rather work up the money. I'd rather, you know, make it and save up and go to the person who I want to go instead of just saying, okay, fine, I guess I'll go with them, you know? Uh, but that's pretty much it. That's all I have for you guys for this video. Uh, I'll see you next week on the next video. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you next time.